Is someone up there? I could use some help down here. Hurry, please. I have a natural aversion to Daedra. So hard to concentrate and maintain schedules when interruptions constantly occur. Don't they know the great gear never pauses in its rotations? So that was you up there. I appreciate the assistance. Daedric entities can be very unpredictable. Logic has very little place in the behavior of Daedra, my hopeful associate. Studying the fabric of reality does tend to attract unwanted attention. But these creatures appeared just before you entered my tower. I wonder, why have you returned? Ah, a modification of my master's old experiments. Turning a simple tool into a dangerous weapon. Ingenious! Evil, yes, but also quite brilliant. Hmm. A tonal inverter should counter it. Uses sound waves to temporarily disrupt the flow of energy. No, of course not. I just invented it. I need proper components to build such a device. My hirelings scour the land for materials all the time. Here's a list. Head out the back door and ask them to direct you to these common dwarven components. Hirelings? Yes, they worked for me, before they quit, ungrateful netches. Still, I paid them well before the pistons slipped their alignments. They should know where to find the components. Last I heard, Snorfen and the others were in Molagmar. The situation has wound dangerously tight. But I believe the gears revolve around you. Once you leave, I should be perfectly safe. Or at least as safe as I ever am in the midst of all these experiments. You, however, stay vigilant, my friend. I could, but I won't pour five-year-old Flynn into a cracked decanter. No offense. Suffice it to say, they're fairly common as far as Dwemer components go. Use the list and talk to my former hirelings. I'll build the device the moment you return.
I feel like such a puny snowback hiding here in Molagmar. But you don't want to hear about my troubles. What can this broken Nord do for you? Berylzar. He's the reason I'm a shattered man, doomed to become a cowering sheep like the rest of these pilgrims. Ah, all right, let me see that. Hmm, Arkanthung Sturlums. You can find a Solens generator there, after you deal with the steam trap. The cursed contraption. I almost had it figured out when a ghost floated up to me. No problem, I think. But then it enters a Centurion. Ghost machines. No sane Nord can fight ghost machines. I dropped my notes and ran as fast as I could. Not just ghosts. Ghosts that possess dwarven machines. I'm through working for that crazy old mage and his clockwork monstrosities. But if you want to get past the steam trap, find my notes and follow the directions. If you're another pilgrim looking for charity, I suggest you move along. I have neither the time to waste nor the gold to spare. I'm currently between employment, and my own funds have become dangerously depleted. Let me see that. What's that crazy mage need this time? Hmm. I suppose you could find a manual clockwork shaft in the Nichu left ruins. But I'd avoid that place if I were you. If the roof doesn't collapse, the constructs will rip you apart. If you insist. Deep in the ruins churns a big machine. When I was there, it sputtered and vibrated, collapsing parts of the ceiling. Lava and rock fell everywhere. You need to get past that and some nasty constructs to retrieve the item. That mage is a menace. Oh, he always paid well, but the places he asked me to go, each was more dangerous than the last. And if I had to hear about the great gear one more time, for my own health and sanity, I had to break ties with Berylzar. Another new face. Wonderful. Damned vampires. I'll find a way to make them pay for what they did to my brother. I swear it on the tribunal and any Daedra willing enough to listen. What do you want? Can't you leave a person to her anger and her grief? He did, did he? Let me see that list. Hmm. Well, the crazy old maid always said there were no coincidences. The inversion conduit. I saw one in Gloam Deus, right before I barely escaped from those damned vampires. Eager to become cattle for the bloodsuckers? The Burn Clan killed my brother. Damn their eyes! The item you seek was in the manufactory, but you'll need a control rod to get a dwarven spider to unlock it for you. Because the mage wanted to send me to the far side of Valdenfell, and I need to remain here. I'm not going anywhere until I make the Burn Clan pay for what it did to my brother. If you can kill some of the bastards, that'll be a start. March on through. Sing proud sound roars, O ye buoyant armed armagers. Raise voices in courageous cheers. You don't hear the cause for
this spider won't give me its treasure, dear brother. Allow me, my sister. This should open a miserable construct like a ripe fruit.
Have you only just arrived, or is this you returning? I can't always keep the cogs and pistons in line. Ah, I remember. The components for the tonal inverter. Were you able to acquire them? Impressive. I thought I'd never see you again. That's what usually happens when I employ hirelings to acquire rare and exotic items from dangerous locations. Well, if the great gear doesn't dawdle, neither do I. Hand them over and I'll get to work. One tonal inverter coming up. Connect this, tighten the spring. Don't explode. <sighs> Almost done. There. Phew, got it right the first time. No explosions. Yet. Go ahead, you can take it. I'm sure it's stable. Mostly sure. Once the tonal inverter is in your possession, talk to me and I'll tell you how it works. Do you like it, my latest creation? I call it the Tonal Inverter. Did I mention that already? No matter. It should counteract Sofa Seal's modified staff. At least, momentarily. I assume you know how to use this, correct? Of course you don't. I just invented it. Honestly. You won't use it anyway, not if you plan to fight the one who wields Sofa Seal's staff. Almost impossible to operate the Tonal Inverter while also engaged in battle. It's too cumbersome. The Sunara, the Blessed Staff? I suppose the name fits, sort of. You'll need someone to assist you, someone you trust. Oh, not me. Too busy, too fragile. But using the tonal inverter is definitely a two-person activity. Easy as scrib jelly pie. One person operates the controls to generate the sound waves. When it reaches the proper pitch, you activate the inverter and discharge its energy to disrupt Sunara's power. Temporarily. Here, I wrote you instructions.
please. I, I need to. presence defiles this city, Ashlander. How dare you demand to see our god? I'm here to help. If you won't listen to me, listen to the Outlander. Thank the three. The Outlander has returned. Was Barozal able to help us? <sighs> Pay no attention to this Ashlander. She's been blathering on about Lord Vivek's condition and how she can help. But I'm certain it's a trick of some sort. I was just about to have her thrown out of the city, or possibly tossed to the slaughterfish. I know who she is. I still don't trust her, and I refuse to let her anywhere near Lord Vivek. Who knows what an Ashlander would do while the warrior poet is in such a fragile state? A tonal what now? Well, since I can't go with you, or with Lord Vivek requiring my undivided attention, I suppose we'll have to let the Ashlander assist you. Very well. Take her and defeat Chodala. Then bring me a staff so we can restore Vivek. If that old idiot is what passes for a tribunal leader, it's no wonder the houses are in such disarray. No time to dwell on that, though. I found my brother, and it's worse than I feared. Chodala's quest for power has led him down a dark path. Chodala and his most loyal followers have taken refuge in a ruin called Kaush Terari. It's an ancient shrine devoted to the Daedric Prince Malakath. I think my brother plans to ask the God of Curses to help him. It will allow us to stop Chodala? Then of course I'll help you. Since the Tribunal's dogs took my weapons, I'll need to replace them. Meet me at the ruins when you're ready.
Here we are, on the Furious One's bloody doorstep, preparing to enter a Daedric Ruin to try to stop my brother's march toward power. I hope that device you mentioned really can counter the invulnerability granted by the staff, sooner or. Well, that's larger than I expected, but it looks simple enough to operate. I suppose it's better that I work the device. I'm not sure I'm capable of attacking Chodala. He's still my brother, no matter how dangerous his beliefs have become. I'll help you counter the effects of Sunara. Maybe once we neutralize it, Chodala will listen to reason. I know that's probably just wishful thinking. I'll settle for finding out who tempted Chodala with that damn stuff. Go ahead, ask your questions, then head into the ruins. I'll be right behind you. The tribes rejected him. Azura set her face against him. Now Chodala is seeking aid wherever he can find it. That makes him more desperate than I imagined, and more dangerous. Why he decided to solicit Malakath, the god of curses, I have no idea. Malakath's an evil god, the Daedric Prince of Curses and Broken Promises. Perhaps that's why Chodala has sought him out. The prophecy of the Nerevarian was Chodala's to fulfill before it was wrenched away from him. Perhaps, but I don't think so. The Oathbreaker prefers a more direct approach. He isn't one to hide behind convoluted schemes and plots. Still, if Malakath agrees to support my brother, we'll have one more problem to deal with. It's true I have no love of the Tribunal. I also have no stomach for a war between my people and the Great Houses. Too much blood will be spilled to no good end. Even Azura proclaims that my brother must be stopped. I'll help you in any way I can. Malakath's an evil god. Over there! Those red exiles! They've been slaughtered! Chodala? He's gone mad! Sought to make a deal with a Daedric Prince! Chodala appealed to Malakath, but the God of Curses rebuked him. He killed us all! Said Chodala already served another! He went deeper into the ruins, into Malakath's shrine. Creatures. They don't belong to Malakath. Another prince's power is at work here. You dare refuse me, Malakath? I am the Nerevarine. Chodala, brother, stop this madness. You bring this outlander to kill me, sister? You can't harm me. I have a powerful patron on my side. The staff protects him. You can't hurt him until we use the tonal inverter. I need a moment to get this working. What is that? No matter, you are no longer worth my time. Scarfin! They serve the Prince of Bargains! Keep them busy while I finish this!
The tonal inverter is ready. Stand in the field and focus the wave. My protective shield! What have you done? I'll destroy all of you for this! with the false Nerevering, just as you commanded. That was harder than I expected. Chodala was so angry, so full of rage, not like himself at all. Still, I can't believe I helped kill my own brother. I know that! It was either Chodala or the lives of hundreds of Dunmer. All because he convinced himself he was the Nerevarin. Or someone convinced him. Either way, my brother is dead, and the cavern of the Incarnate has another resident. Take Sunara, and I'll meet you back in Vivek City. Your Archcanon made it quite clear that the staff was the key to saving Vivek. I need to take care of my brother's remains. Then we'll be done here. Mountains particularly active. Pull yourself together. They're a buoyant armager for Vivek's sake. Oh, this is terrible. Lord Vivek collapsed. Tell me, Outlander. Were you able to defeat Chodala? Have you brought me a staff? I'm afraid Lord Vivek may not last much longer. And just in time. According to my calculations, with every use of Sunara, Chodala drained more energy from Lord Vivek. It almost killed him. We can use this staff to save Vivek. Just plant it in the floor, and the power will return to him. Working just as I expected. What are you doing? It's killing him! What did you expect? That's the point of all this, after all. I've powered up the tonal inverter. Activate the wave! I knew 
something was wrong as soon as I approached the palace. I could feel it in my bones. I was on my way here when Azura showed me a vision. I saw Sunara killing Vivek. Even without Chodala, that damn staff is dangerous. I don't think that thing was ever the Arch Cannon. It called itself Barbus. As an Ashlander, I'm more familiar with Daedric lore than most of the elves of the Great Houses. Beyond that, I've made a study of the most prominent Daedric princes. Because Barbus is a loyal servant of the Daedric Prince, Clavicus Vile. I'm not an expert on the Prince of Bargains, but it seems to me that this was all part of some grand plan. Perhaps Vivek can explain things better than I can. Azura's champion is correct. That was Barbus, faithful hound of Clavicus Vile, a shapeshifter. He killed the Arch Cannon, took his place. Chodala sought the seal's device, impersonating Tarvus. It was all part of some elaborate plan. That was simply a consequence. We needed tribunal energy to locate the Clockwork City. I was the easiest target. If Barbus enters Sotha Seal City, disaster will follow. I appreciate your help, but I must conserve what remains of my energy. What happened here? Where? Oh, by the three, Lord Vivek looks terrible. Where's Archcanon Tarvus? He always seems to know what to do in situations like this. Barbus? The Daedric Hound? Wait, wait, I, d I don't understand any of this. But if Lord Vivek's energy has been depleted, then the moonlit Red Mountain. My gods, all of Ardenfell's in danger. If only there was a way to give Lord Vivek some energy. Wait! That's it. A blessing stone! Find the Overseer and retrieve another stone from the construction site. Oh, please, hurry. I've never seen Lord Vivek in such a desperate state. I expect the Overseers near the unfinished cantons, watching out for looters. When people panic, they're capable of anything. And with all the chaos going on outside, the Overseer closed the construction site. Get her key and bring back a stone. 